So when you come in from work or wherever you've been, you've been out of the homestead all day, and you come in and you smell this wonderful chicken pot pie that's been cooking most of the day or half the day in the slow cooker. And you're like, this is great. <laughs> All you got to do is come in and mix you up just a little bit of your dumplings. And it's just a few ingredients. Your slow cooker, like today, I put mine on high for four hours. Or you can put it on low for six hours. And I come in and it's went through its process of cooking. And it what it does is it automatically goes to warm. And it stays warm for, I think, four hours. So by the time I get in, it's still warm. So what I do is I kick it back up to high. I make my, uh, my dumpling dough. I'm going to let it sit. And then... Since I got this on high and it starts really bubbling again, we'll drop our, uh, our dumplings in there. So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love the garden, it's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family, we work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. And we're going to take about three chicken breasts. You can probably use just two if there's just a couple y'all eating. Mr. Brown likes a lot of protein in his meals. <laughs> Whether it's beef or pork or chicken. Put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I'm not going to put a whole lot of seasonings. And I've got a little bit of uh, ground up thyme out of the garden. I'm going to sprinkle that on my chicken breast. And I've got about three cups of uh, mixed vegetables. And they're frozen just out of the freezer. You can use canned. You can use dehydrated mixed vegetables. You can cut up some potatoes if you need to. But I've got a couple of bags of these frozen vegetables that need to be used up. And this isn't going to take me, it's probably not even going to take me 10 minutes to get this together. And I'll be out the door to work. Now I'm going to put a little bit more salt and pepper on top of my vegetables. Now if you're using it, um, cream of chicken soup that's not low sodium don't put this much salt in here because you know how salty that is if you're using your own homemade cream of chicken soup that you have controlled your salt that's even better and I have a video an older video for the mix for making your own cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup that was one of my first videos I made. But I'm just using canned, and like I said, it's really better for you to use low sodium. And use low sodium chicken broth. You may have your own homemade that you're controlling your sodium with, but anything you buy at the store, unless it's low sodium, has so much salt in it. So put you anywhere from a cup cup and a half. It depends on how much broth and juice you want in with your your dumplings. You can put, it, put up to two because your cream of chicken soup is really going to thicken it up. So that's all there is to that. We're done. All we're going to do now is put the lid on it. And then I'm going to set mine on four hours on high or you can set it on low for six hours. Chicken really doesn't need over six hours. We're going to make our 
little dumpling batter here, our drop dumpling batter. And I've got two cups of self rising flour in here. If you don't have self rising flour, just put you two cups of all purpose flour in here with a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. In here, I've got one cup of milk. You can use a cup of buttermilk. And then I've got four tablespoons of, you can either use vegetable oil or olive oil or whatever kind of oil that you cook with. And I'm just going to start pouring this in here and mix it around. This is very easy. Comes together really quick. If it seems to be too thick on you, you can add a little bit more milk to it. And just stir it up really quickly, but don't over stir it. Once it all comes together, you can quit stirring. And see how it's a thick, sticky batter. And that's what you want. So once it comes together, you can quit stirring it. And then we're going to let it sit here for about 10 minutes. Just let it sit for just a little bit before we start making our, putting it in there with our rest of our uh, chicken pot pie filling. Our chicken's good and done. And this looks whole creamy and so good. And I'm just breaking my my chicken apart. It's really tender. I like cooking um, the recipes like this for six hours on low or four hours on high. It just seems to do better than if you stick your chicken in here and put it on eight hours on low. It seems to kindly overcook it. I mean, there's a lot of other meats that need to go eight to ten hours, but a few chicken breasts six hours on low is really plenty. Don't that look pretty? That cream of chicken soup thickened it up and that little bit of broth that I put in there put just enough broth and it's starting to come to another simmer and I'm going to taste it for salt and pepper I know it's going to be hot. You don't need no more salt. It really doesn't need anything to you. True. Tastes good. So I'm going to put the lid back on it and let it come up to a good simmer. And then I'm going to put my drop biscuits in there. Okay, after turning my slow cooker back up to high, I'm just going to take my, my drop biscuits and I'm going to start dropping them down in here on top of my filling. Just like you would if you were just making drop biscuits on your you can call them fluffy dumplings you can call them drop biscuits you can call them whatever you want to just make sure you call me to supper that's what they always say huh? I'm going to layer these on top Then I'll put the top back on and leave it on high and I'm going to let it go ahead and finish cooking. It'll cook the dumplings or the biscuits, whatever you want to call it. Now you can half this recipe and just do a cup of flour. 
half a cup of milk, two tablespoons of oil. If you're not making as big a recipe. See you're cooking my supper? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yummy. I hope so. I know it will be. I'm just getting in from work. It's supposed to be an easy, easy meal to throw together when you've been gone all day. One of them kind of recipes. Drop that in there. And it's sticking to my finger. I'm just going to put the lid back on here. If you want to, you can put sprinkle some pepper on top of them dumplings or you can put your little parsley or something up there if you want to. So it's on high. I'm going to watch it and let it come back up to a good simmer and we'll see how long it takes for them to cook. Okay. Our biscuits. Look at them. They're all puffed up. They're done and they're not going to brown. They're not going to brown in here in the slow cooker. But they're good and done all the way through. Look really good. So let's dish us out a plate of uh, some delicious chicken pot pie with drop dumplings, drop biscuits, whichever you want to call it. Good stuff. Good food. Thank you, Lord, for this rain. Much needed rain. I hope y'all like this video. You can see how easy you can put supper together and um, leave on a long day, go to work, and come in. Please subscribe.